It is so good to see you again, you wonderful people out there. Welcome back. Today's app is so simple, yet so versatile that you can use it in different situations with the right setup. Theoretically, you could use it to spy on your neighbor like James Bond, but let's put it to better use, unless of course you are James Bond. It has been here before, but for some reason it's not available to all. And I will explain later. Of course, we are talking about the camera controller app. Open camera controller. And yes, before you say we have third party solutions out there, I'm fully aware of this. But from what I can tell is that the Samsung's native app has way better functionality or one killer functionality no other third party solution has. And here is the deal. You are integral to this channel. There's no other way around this. And because of you and your engagement, we are getting noticed more and more. And that's a true story. And I have so much fresh content in the pipeline that if you are not subscribed, you may miss out. So here's how we do it, right? So place your phone anywhere you want, obviously within range. You have the phone unlocked, the display is off, you open up your Galaxy Watch 4 and open up the controller, camera controller app and let the magic happen. Now, why is this important? Well, so many third party solutions require you to have the app running in the background or have the phone unlocked, the display open and everything is being running. It kind of drains your battery and within two hours of using it, then, well, we know what happens. And if you want to use it as a monitor or you want to place it somewhere, like let's say as a baby monitor, it's all possible, right? or you want to put it on a window, you want to see if your UPS guy or DHL guy is coming in order to drop off the parcel. If you want to do these spot checks, you can have your phone sitting somewhere in a different room or on a window, wherever, and have it locked, not touching it. Just open up the camera controller up on your Galaxy Watch 4 and that's it. You may say, well, why would I need this? Fair enough. But if you watch a movie or you do something differently and you don't want to have a physical attendance all the time, you don't want to check up on whatever it is you want to check up on next room or front door, then you can simply use this. And you can, of course, also use your Google Assistant in order to get the camera up also open. In terms of range, it's pretty much the same between your watch and your phone. So if your watch disconnects from your phone when you go upstairs, then your controller, your um, camera controller app will most likely not work anymore. So it kind of depends on how thick your walls are and, and you know, do you have different levels in your house and so on. Of course, it is designed to take a picture remotely, but you've just seen what other use cases we have. But there's another use case that is quite useful. Apart from using it as a monitor or basically take pictures, you can also use it to record yourself, to film yourself. Again, you place your phone in your desired position, wherever you want to have this, open the app on your watch, switch to video on your phone, place yourself wherever you want to be in front of the camera, of course, and press record on your Galaxy Watch 4. Voila, you are now recording yourself. So the list here came from Samsung Direct. So this is a list of devices that will work with your camera up most likely. And I don't know why there is a limitation, but at least you know now that if you have different devices, then it won't work. But these devices, they should work with the camera up. And let me know how you get on. Thank you for watching. As always, peace out.